Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, we're going to be setting up flaps, flapperons, or spoilerons with Ethos. So I had a comment on one of my other Ethos videos from Francesco Simoncioni, and he's having trouble setting up flaps, or more specifically flapperons, using Ethos. So I thought I'd make a video to show you guys how to do it. Now, the setup is very similar for all three, even though they're going to have different control surfaces. But we'll head over to the desk and take a look. So before we actually get into the process of setting everything up on EFOS, I thought I'd go over the setup and how everything's working, just so we can see that it's basically the same as what would be in a, a plane. Right, so first of all, I've had a, a few comments asking about this little demo plane here. I actually designed and made it myself cut all the parts out and glued it together so there's it's not like a kit you can get anywhere or anything like that it's yeah it's quite handy for demoing i'm, I'm glad you guys quite like it so uh yeah thank you for the comments on on my little demo plane i'm quite pleased with it but anyway so i'm going to be setting up using this r8 pro and this is set up a e t r so i've got left aileron um elevator for throttle i've just got my uh beck to provide power and then the rudder channel 5 i'm using the right aileron channel 6 is the left flap and channel 7 is the right flap so it's just a really basic setup now for doing regular flaps if you don't want to use crow braking or anything like that or full span ailerons you can use a y lead for the ailerons but if you want to use flapperons or spoiler ons you have to have each servo on its own channel so i thought i'd save the hassle and just put everything on a channel right so now that's all set up what i'm going to do is just create a new model right so the first thing we're going to do is power on the radio Welcome to Ethos. and we're not going to Switch worry about morning. any of this i'll turn the sound off um, and what we're going to do is go model select and i'm just going to start completely from scratch and what I'll do in a sec is show the same process, but if you've already got a model set up. So we're going to choose an aeroplane. We want an engine channel. We want two channels for the ailerons. And I'm going to set up two channels for the flaps. A traditional tail. And we'll give it the name demo. And that's it. So now we're all set up. So I'll just quickly uh, register the uh, the receiver. Okay, so there we go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is just check that our surfaces are going the correct direction. So we're going to pop into outputs. Sorry, that's double tap. Um, we can see the rudder is reversed. So if we just tap on rudder, invert that output. Uh, elevator is correct and the ailerons if i go to roll left we can see that the left is coming up but so is the right so the right needs to be reversed so we'll reverse aileron channel two and now our ailerons are correct rudder is correct and uh yeah elevator is correct so what we need to do now is assign something to control our flaps so we just edit and then we'll choose an input and I'm just going to choose this slider right here and you can see that one of them is reversed so we're on channel six and seven so again I'm going to go with just reverse that one so now they're both going the same directions flap down flap up so that is how you set up basic flaps. And what we can do is take a look in the mixer and we can see that it's just a reduced weight, but it's actually going up as well. So it's not quite right. So if we wanted pure flaps, we only want it to go down. What we can do is set up a curve. So add a curve, we just call it flap. And we just need a base.
two point curve and we're going to go from zero to let's go 100 so there we go it's working the correct way around so you can see all the way to one extent the flaps are level and then all the way down the flaps are going down so that's basic flaps but what if you've already created a model and you don't have flaps there what what do we what do we do now so it's it's quite simple so now again we have our uh, standard four channel well two aileron channel and standard aetr model what we're going to do is just add a flaps mix so go add mix and then there's already one called flaps and you still want to do this if we're setting up flapperons or spoilerons so we'll do it uh, as basic flaps to begin with again we'll select our input and we'll give it a our flaps curve and you can see that they're both moving the same direction of course the output of channel 7 is already inverted so that's why you may if you're setting it up from scratch you may need to invert the output and of course we can change the weight to whatever we want so let's go maximum go maximum so now you can see the flaps are working yeah perfectly well right so that's flaps but what if we want to use flapperons so flapperons are using our aileron channel so what we're going to do is we're going to stay in this flap mix but obviously we'll go into it and edit and what we need to do first of all is change the channel so we'll change channel six flap to aileron one and it says do you want to swap you you choose no and then do you want to re clear the name for channel six because it's not uh, used anymore choose yes and then we're going to change the other one to aileron two do you want to swap no and you want to clear the name yes so what this has done is just added the mix to the ailerons so you can see with the flaps down the ailerons uh, move absolutely fine and if i move them all the way up on the the uh, dial you can see both have come up and the ailerons will only drop so what we've actually done here is created spoilerons so spoilerons both ailerons are coming up and they're actually killing the lift so they'll get the plane down quicker um, but of course you probably want to reduce the weight slightly so we'll set it up to maybe 80 percent that way you still have a bit more roll control and you do this on both channels of course if you wanted to set these up as flapperons rather than spoilerons what we need to do is invert both channels so let's click on there and then we'll come down to minus 80 and we'll do the same on the other side so what we now have is both going down and we have our aileron control so that that is flaperons so i'll show you here that's neutral that's both down but you can see we still have roll control so just to go over what we have we have our aileron channels these haven't been changed at all that's that's as standard so we have our weight all we did was made sure that before we did anything else they were going the correct way on the outputs page so next up we created our flaps mix or we already had it from the wizard and what we did was added our curve so if i go edit you can see it's going from zero to minus 100 and all that does is limit from instead of going both up and down they will only go in one direction but you still have the full resolution of this control so and then all we've done is if we want uh We've reduced the weight to 80% so we still have a little bit of aileron control and if we want um, spoilerons we would put both would invert both of them and if we want flapperons like we have now we'd obviously 
make them so that they both go down. Now, the problem uh, that we were having on YouTube is that one was always going up and one was always going down. So what you would need to do is, you'll, you'll see that it will happen now. All you need to do is change the weights on these um, flap channels so that they both go down if you want the uh, flap rods. You, you shouldn't need to, or you wouldn't need to touch anything on the A-rods at all. They should be working properly out, out the gate before you do anything. And then it's just modifying the weights on these two flaps just to get them both to go down. And that should be all there is to it. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon because this will help get the video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too. But thank you very much for your time, guys. Flowing models, you stole them. I'll see you on the next one.